views and hears and I don't care about if I do or something random video like this but I do anything I want you know <laughs> so this is uh, a night time it's maybe a 10 o'clock on the p.m. on the morning p.m. on the, on the night right so as you can see my face is my face is a little bit getting fatter but uh, that's true to <laughs> How should I prevent that? You know, all I have to do is how to solve the problem. Okay, and I don't know what to talk about now this time, but I'm pretty sure I will know what I'm going to talk this time. It's confusing, right? <laughs> no. So uh, I don't know. I want to talk about topic again or not? Cause I'm still on the zero day of nonfap of course and I don't really feel shame about that even I relapsed full times this day and I don't shame about that why because I know that's not bad at all because also I know that something like that is going to or happen you know even if you are doing nonfap you are still able to happen something bad happens your own life you know <laughs> just like I'm having a bad scores yesterday <laughs> and like I think I have shared I already shared that before um, one day before this right and also uh, I'm spending time I'm spending my, my time alone and and I'm feel grateful about that because you know one year ago before I made this channel I before I made this channel, I, I made things transformation for myself. Um, you know, I started to work out that I don't know what is. I think that something flashed to my brain, and I, I started to do some kind of random work of just playing on you know, center of and the side left and right for each movement is sixty seconds, and then one hundred use ups with random sets of and random petitions <laughs> and then I she sit up and uh, um, you know squats and random pull-ups and running with 12 minutes and continue if I s still able to do it and sometimes I push myself too hard until my legs feels really hard hurtful but I feel grateful of that because that means I'm past my limit you know Although I know I still can move again and level up, you know. and then on uh, one year later, aka this year, <laughs> is like uh, I'm leveled down, really down, not just little, but I think it's that should happen because in you know when I'm down, just little just you know what uh, not until burnout I'm only if if I'm only flatline not burnout that's more dangerous why can I say dangerous that if I am um, only leveled down a little bit so that means it's really hard to me to level up again because I'm only on the my my limit my even down and up down and up again but in a on a fair little you know <laughs> and I know that's what there is uh, one paradox that's I think I have talked that before but I, I don't know one year I mean just like I say I'm one year ago that's pandemic times coming through and I start my information and I I don't know when I mean, when I'm really really down and burn out and bottom of my life that's that's what I learned many things that I don't even realize before my most stupid mistakes and unrecognizable mistakes and I don't know what to say <laughs> that happens accidentally 
and I started thinking about uh, anyone or anything that I haven't think about that before is when I'm really on the bottom part of my life not on the top, not on the middle but on the bottom I don't know how to say that's paradox or not but I think that's literally paradox right? I think that's what I'm gonna say probably most of you will angry to me because you will not get the point when I say it but I not blame anyone there's no anyone to blame and also I, I think I made this video because I'm hard to sleep you know I have a insomnia or insomnia problem these days and I just work out this morning and and ugh, my power just really leveled down man <laughs> really feel so weak I only can do 20 reps boost ups at once and that's and I still have a chance to relax my body before I finish it <laughs> unlike before <laughs> I think I will rehash the some things that's I think I have talked to you, all of you before this video that's uh, my mistake that I'm too obsessed with ambition myself to push myself that's not really wrong but if it's too hard it will lead us to you know lose yourself in the progress you know when the progress I have to make one video about something that's about that you know and the title is almost safe almost same that's when you are makes about what let's see still a bit mistakes you know <laughs> let's see oh yeah yeah push yourself too hard and then you burn out and when burn out it's just there are two things happen. It's probably you are only on the short term time or long term time, and uh, I I'm the second way. <laughs> I'm uh, the second way that's long term. Even sometimes I will still I'm still I still I still I still probably haven't to myself about that <laughs> that burnout. Like but I still I still can feel that. But gratefully, my burnout is little by little is you know rested, you know. <laughs> and then I start to learning things, doing things seriously, but calmly, and you know just enjoy the what you do, right? Because it's part of life, you know. There's nothing not to really worry about because that's all of that is part of life work assessment from school scolded by parents scolded by teachers scolded by everyone roasted uh, mocked bullied hurt and including positive things like fancy relationships and yeah i think things like i said before this power of life, you know, and I, the most stupid, you know, my, one of my stupid mistakes is when I feel about raging wants to <laughs> offend those people that have something, had something bad to me. I check them on, <laughs> on Instagram, check their account just to surface my, my anger. <laughs> Not, not down that, but up that, you know. <laughs> Much more. I think that's one thing that's led me to burn out too. So the first thing is my ambition to become more and more and more. We can become more and more and more. And it's not wrong, but the wrong things is 
my gratefulness about that about what I achieved when I have I had done is really really low it's really low all I do is most things I do is I feel guilty I feel the same about myself that I only achieved that that's even I haven't achieved that before I still can I still feel that only little and then the most of it things again I I do that <laughs> I'm feels that's real that's the right thing to feel guilty about about feeling you feel always not full after what I've achieved someone says that I think someone says that rightly but I think about what he says wrongly wrong that's lead me to burn out too I hope you're not repeat my same mistakes too that's lead to burn out you know only two simple things and that's happened continuously and that's why I'm saying butterfly effect butterfly effect can affect you positively and negatively too and that's negatively what I say right but positively it's I have done that before too it's like what I say I'm working out and then I achieve my one of my body goals that's even um, I don't even know if sometimes I will share it to you or not but I don't really interested this time but actually honestly I'm feeling really crazy you know after what I achieved and that's that's not from the wrong thing is what I said before right as I feel guilty and over and over I already say that you know I think that's what I'm gonna say is maybe I'm going to sleep this time every single day um, it's more like I don't know <laughs> thank you if you are I think I don't know I'm I haven't do any kind of uh, I haven't done yet but musical experience right because I, I don't know I still don't know what to talk about that <laughs> I mean those school experience is a uh, you know because many kinds things from back in 2000 mid 2016 on July July until mid I mean how can I say this the final test on uh, ninth grade is uh, on on May I guess May or I reckon May May or June June is uh, vacation <laughs> it's May like until I graduated and one thing says I think I still remember is when I graduated and realized stupid things I have done and kind of anxiety and I just come to teachers principal's room over and over and the most of the things is is I feels I feel right when one of my teachers says that or even more that's my most diligent student but the wrong thing is it's not it's not called I cannot call it that diligent not I prefer stupid you know because I have kind of anxiety and panic attack and and when uh, something like party you know I cannot say part sport party I guess I reckon I guess it's a sport party on school and on that time is already test already done and then I go into principal room just to ask for a measurable tasks I mean it's measurable that's is there any assignment or not that's officially not <laughs> and I just span off my time well at time this I can build some relationship with someone or some more than that I just stupidly spend off most of my time three years on middle school just to you know 
just to service my anxiety by scared about that and then traumatized about little things bad things happen and don't realize about good influence and good impact when I was in the school I think it's one part of middle school experience session thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and uh, click and comment below if you are interested in middle school experience too I think I am not shared about high school experience but I think I will connect both that's I I haven't finished high school yet I'm on the third year and graduate next year and but I think I will connect especially about the difference that's and then when I start my transformations when I I'm a 15 going to 16 and a 16 and more and 17 and grown up now until now I am just recovered and relapse again and I want to recover again <laughs> right and it's the first time I guess or second time I <laughs> to a long time I talk about this you know Thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Thank you.